welcome from the Industry of Things World 2017 in Berlin. I'm here with Kevin Ashton, the inventor of the term Internet of Things. Hi Kevin and Hello. welcome to the conference. Hello, thank you for having me. First of all, can you please briefly introduce yourself? Uh, I'm Kevin Ashton. I coined the term the Internet of Things in 1999 uh, and I was executive director of uh, a lab at MIT called the Auto ID Center in the United States where we did some of the early work on developing the Internet of Things and since then I've done some tech startups and, and I wrote a book called How to Fly a Horse which is a, a look at innovation and, and creation. How can businesses win with the Internet of Things? Well, I think the first thing they have to do is start using it. This is something I say all the time. There's a, there can be a tendency in businesses, especially with new ideas, to analyze, analyze, meet, meet, try and you know, understand exactly what's going to happen before you do anything. And my advice is always the same. It's um, find, find a, a, a problem in your business, uh, spend a few, a few dollars or a few euros, do a very small scale project just to see if the technology works at all. Uh, and, and once you get to a point where something is working a little bit, then you expand it gradually uh, and, and try and solve a real problem in your business that in some way affects your customer. That's the other thing. I think it should be improve efficiency so you can, you can deliver to your customer at a lower price or a quicker time or something like that. Or you can improve your service to your customer, you can improve your product in some way. Um, but the key thing is to start. Uh, and start small and not expect to succeed or you know make millions of dollars in the first year but just just begin uh, and find your way by doing so it looks like iot is here to stay definitely yes but why do you think that businesses should care about it internet of things is about things and every business has things either they make things and sell things or they use things in some other way they, they provide a service that requires them to keep track of assets or documents or something. So if you've got things, uh, the Internet of Things can, can do something for you. Um, and if you don't start to adopt it, it's almost certain that your competitor will. And if your competitor gets value from something that you're not getting value from, you're very quickly going to be challenged in the marketplace. So um, there's a, in addition to just wanting to provide better service or products to your customer, there's also the need to remain competitive and in a fast changing environment. And, you know, the Internet of Things is going to be disrupted in every industry. So uh, if, you, you know, if you don't adopt it for a positive reason, you should at least adopt it for a defensive reason. So back in 1999, when you invented this term, did you think it would have such a big effect on the industry and it would create a new industry? <laughs> no, the Internet of Things was a, a fairly bad title of a PowerPoint presentation that I, I first of all gave to some senior executives at my employer, which was Procter & Gamble, uh, a multinational consumer goods company. Um, I needed to explain uh, the idea of sensing things in, in our supply chain um, to executives who didn't have a lot of time and weren't especially interested in technology, but I knew that they were interested in the internet. So I called my presentation the Internet of Things to try and attract their attention, basically. And it worked, so they sent me off to MIT uh, and I gave the same presentation hundreds more times all around the world for four or five years um, and I just never changed the title but no there was no expectation that this was that there'd be a conference in Berlin in 2017 that you know talked about the internet of things or something it was just the name of a PowerPoint presentation that somehow caught on. And what do you see as the next step after the internet of things? The internet of things is probably like a hundred year project we're probably like 17 years into a hundred year project right now with the internet of things um, so it's, it's a little bit difficult to see beyond that but we're moving into a world of increasingly sophisticated automation. You know, one of the things you hear about, particularly here in, in Europe, is the fourth industrial revolution. Well, you know, all the industrial revolutions have been about increasing levels of automation. So we had you know, the automation of mechanical things. Um, now we're in, in a world where we've automated both information and mechanical things. So you can have very sophisticated robotic systems that can you know, drive cars, for example. Um, it's, it's a little bit difficult to see what's beyond that, but I think it's going to be a world of increased efficiency, longer, higher quality of life for an ever larger population of people. So it's, it's all good. Uh, and I think it'll be a very exciting century. And what are your first impressions of the conference so far and your expectations? I just, just finished speaking uh, and there were like, I think about 1200 people. There was like barely anywhere left to sit. It was, it was full, that was the first thing. Um, and you know, the, the audience seemed very engaged, uh, very interested, 
um, uh, I, you know, I had a quick look on, on, on Twitter afterwards and there were lots of interesting comments and things. So, you know, my sense of it right now is you've got 1,200 very smart, very engaged, probably very expert people who've come here to innovate and learn and probably meet one another. Uh, my guess is there are going to be some very interesting things that happen as a result of, of people coming here. Well, thank you very much for your insights and your You're time. Welcome. Great to be here. Have a great day. Thank you.